Hey guys, how you doing? So developer jobs are not disappearing, the junior level developer jobs, but they are changing. So I just came out of a mentoring session, group session, and the people who are getting traction are combining traditional development with AI. That is the key. So the whole role of software development is evolving. I have seen this several times before in my career. Every now and then in the software development world, a new technology comes along and it starts displacing, displacing the old technology. The old jobs fade and the new jobs come in and you have the explosion. People who are early adopters of the new technology get ahead. So today, if you are a junior who wants to get a job, the key to getting your foot in the door is not to study the old stuff, not to study the React, the Vue, or to go into Node.js and algorithms and data structures and lead code, that's not the way to get your entry level job. The cheat code, if you will, today is to look where the demand is going. So the demand in modern software development is in two areas. It is in traditional development augmented by AI. And number two, it is AI first development. These are two tracks of development we can call them you can consider them new stacks, if you will. If you get into that area where you still need to understand the fundamentals of coding, understand the fundamentals of the logic behind the software that you're writing, because you have to guide the AI, like the AI will do all kinds of crazy, stupid stuff. So if you don't control it, and the only way you're going to be able to control it is a good understanding of the fundamentals. But if you don't control it, you're going to have poor results. I've seen this over and over and over again. So the key is to learn your fundamentals of software development, the basic language constructs, the request response cycle, if you're doing web development, which I highly recommend. Server versus client, client side code versus server side code. When it makes sense to put business logic in the server versus in the client, different types of databases, the latency on networks and on web apps the stateless nature of the web, how code is processed, design patterns, refactoring. These are all skills that are still 100% required in the AI coding age. Notice I didn't say you have to become an expert at React or you got to become an expert of algorithms and data structures. That was never really important unless you were doing very specialized types of development. But in the AI age, those particular skills data structures, advanced data structures and algorithms, let me correct myself, advanced data structures, any beginner's course in any of the programming languages, whether it be JavaScript, Python, Java, C Sharp, whatever, they're going to teach you all you need to know about data types to be able to move forward as a professional developer. Algorithms, never really much of an issue. In terms of most application development, the bottleneck has always been in data retrieval in uh, databases, which are typically SQL-based databases, but that's another story. So I just came out of a mentoring meeting, as I said, and the productive people are combining the two. They're leveraging the AI, they're leveraging the traditional development. They're also using no-code and low-code platforms, like even a content management system like WordPress. So for example... There's somebody in the group who has a new SaaS product, something that would have taken him maybe a year or so to build in traditional, pure traditional development methodologies. He built it with AI assisted. So it is AI augmented traditional development, but it's AI assisted and part, and it's deployed in a, believe it or not, in a WordPress install, but it is a SaaS product. He already has three clients right out of the gate because he learned to build applications and think about application design from a real world perspective. I'll leave you with this. When you are going to market with a product, the big mistake that people make, and I built a few SaaS products and taken them to market successfully, the big mistake that people make is they say, oh, I got this great idea. And they spend forever building this thing out, fine tuning it, before they even have a client, then they get it in, they get it to, to a particular buyer. And then the buyer is like, eh, I don't really need this. And you've wasted all this time and effort and ugh, 
big, big problem. So don't do that. You have to let uh, the signal from the market tell you exactly what you have to do. Number one. Number two, when you deliver your first version of any product, it's got to be quick and dirty. Quick and dirty. This is where AI augmented development comes in handy. To reiterate, AI is not killing developer jobs. It is just changing the way software is built. I have seen this a few times before where traditional methodologies of software development got displaced by new. All the old school guys were going, ah, and then, you know, the new stuff came out. And uh, Bob Janko, so all the old VB6 programmers and the VB5 programmers, all the thick client C++ programmers, all the people developing software for CD-ROMs and DVD-ROMs, all those jobs disappeared. But they pivoted into the web stuff. That's where the market was, was all the web stuff. So I, when I got into the game in 1995, I got into the web stuff right away because I understood that the key is to jump into the new stuff. So because I was in the new stuff, even though I didn't have a comp sci degree, in fact, I just had a business background, I was able to pick up gigs like easily because there was this demand for this brand new technology that allowed you to do things that you could not do before. And there wasn't nearly enough developers who could do it. AI is now that opportunity. AI assisted development and AI first development allows companies to build things out that they could not do prior. So people who jump on this, the new wave of developers, we're going to have huge opportunities. In fact, I believe this is the greatest opportunity for software developers since 1995. Hey, I'm Uncle Steph. I train people in the ways of modern software development. I have my UncleSteph.com mentoring program where I teach you how to become a successful developer that's monetizable. Whether you want to get a job, you want to freelance, you want to start a SaaS business, everything I teach is based on my decades of experience. And yes, you will learn how to code because you still need to understand the foundations of software development, as I discussed earlier in this video. But you have to understand the new stuff. And I've actually added new modules to the program on AI in development, on freelancing, and I got new stuff coming out. It's pretty exciting.